Hey friends, welcome back to another What I Eat in Two Days video. For the last about nine weeks, I have been incorporating lean days into my Keto 4 diet, where I eat my regular Keto 4 higher fat diet for some days and then sprinkle in there uh, some leaner days, cut down the fat, try to lose some weight. So far it's going really well. In the past eight weeks, I've lost over 10 pounds eating this way. Um, if you want details on what exactly I'm doing, what my goals are and all that, I have a video from my Wellness Wednesday series uh, that I will link up in the cards. Please go check that out if you have questions. But in this video, I am just gonna be sharing what I eat on a lean day first and then on a regular higher fat day second. So please keep in mind that when you see what I I eat on my lean day and when I share my calories and macros at the end, that is not how I eat every day. I know I would not feel well if I ate probably more than one day at that low of calories. I always balance out my lean days with a higher calorie, higher fat, regular keto vor day after. Right now I'm doing three lean days a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I have four days a week where I'm eating my regular keto vor diet. I do track my calories and my macros but I don't limit the number of calories that I eat. I eat to hunger. Just on leaner days, I pick different kinds of foods that are lower in fat and my calories naturally come in a lot lower. On my regular higher fat days, I pick foods that are naturally higher in fat and my calories naturally are higher. I also really prioritize protein. I find that that's one of the top things uh, that helps me to keep my hunger under control, make me feel well. I've received so many good benefits from making sure I have my protein high. At the end of each day, I will show you where my calories came to for the day and how my macros broke down. So let's get started with my lean day first. I actually forgot today was a lean day, so I went ahead and made my coffee and I put in my regular creamer. It has like almost nine grams of fat in one serving, so I'm just starting my day out with a little bit extra fat, but I will eat lean the rest of the day. I made this coffee with my mocha dairy-free creamer mix, and I will put a link up in the cards to the recipe. All right, I'm getting my electrolyte drink and Levi's electrolyte drink mixed up. What flavor did you say you wanted, um, Levi? Mango. Mango, okay. Levi's gonna do mango. That's definitely his favorite. I think I'm gonna do, I haven't had strawberry lemonade in a while. What is that one? There's Levi's mango. I have to break open another strawberry lemonade because it's my favorite. I thought I'd go through this one the fastest. So good. A what? A ballerina? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Levi, are you ready for your drink? Are you playing with Izzy? Yeah. All right, here. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think of that mango? Good. Yeah, how many thumbs up? For breakfast, I am going to slice up some of this uh, Costco turkey breast and put it on one of my egg white buns, one of the ones with everything but the bagel seasoning on it. That sounded really good. Clearly what this sandwich really needs is um, cream cheese, but that is not on the plan today. extra turkey for good measure. So four ounces of turkey and a bun. It's not for you, Izzy. No, no. This is my breakfast. You already had yours. I'm having my second cup of coffee for the morning and just trying to add here three tablespoons of the picnic. Oh, that was too much. Four tablespoons. I'm having four tablespoons of the picnic collagen creamer. Pull, what, Levi? Pull this out more. Uh, no, I can't blow up the balloon more after it's already tied. See, it doesn't work. Ah. Doing some chicken meat bars for lunch. 
just throwing them in the air fryer. So Talia has a school study hall event thing that she's going to this afternoon. So I am about to head out the door to take her to that. And I'm planning on dropping her off and then going to Starbucks to get some work done, video editing and replying to comments. So I expect I'll probably eat about three of these bars right now. And that'll be a half a pound of chicken and then I'll save the rest and take it with me just in case I get hungry again while I'm out. I'll be going to Starbucks so I will be getting a coffee. I'm gonna bring my creamer just so I'm prepared. I love how the meat bars are just so easy to eat. I can even eat them like while I am driving. They're, it's like eating a candy bar. We could call them protein bars because they technically are the original protein bar. I am also adding two tablespoons of the Noble, I forget the name, Noble Foods barbecue sauce, the mustard barbecue sauce. It has three carbs per ta two tablespoons and this is two tablespoons. So I had those six meat bars that was um, a pound of chicken and I ate four of them before I left. And then um, for dinner, I just had the last two and that is all I needed. I am not hungry at all. Um, I did want my tea and my water is boiling. So I am going to make my tea. I'm doing the Numi rooibos chai, which is a caffeine free chai. So calories for my lean day today came in at 1,059. And that's about as low as I ever go. It's pretty rare that I ever go below 1,000. And sometimes on my lean days, I go all the way up to about 1,300. But I got in 143 grams of protein and that made up 58% of my calories. I got in 41 and a half grams of fat that made up 37.7% of my calories. And then I got 10.4 total carbs and that made up 4.2% of my calories. So on Carb Manager, you, there's actually a setting you can change to have it show decimals or to round. So if you don't want um, all the numbers and the decimals, you can just turn that on here. Let's see if I can do it real quick. Um, all right, in app settings, you can go down to the bottom here and enable decimal values. You can turn that off and then when you go to your grams of macronutrients and your percentages, they round it just to make it a little bit cleaner. Today is a regular higher fat day. I'm starting my day off with coffee with my mocha creamer mix. I'm doing some recipe experimenting with some egg white pancakes. They look beautiful so far, we'll see how it goes. Those look super nice. So I tasted one and um, it's pretty good. The texture is really good. It's not like super foamy and airy like um, pancakes I've made with the egg white batter before, where if you guys remember, my husband called it a hologram of a pancake because it was like it wasn't even there. This one has more oomph to it, I guess. It has a funny flavor though, and I think I might have added too much um, cream of tartar. I think that might be giving it a funny flavor. But besides that, I think I'm on the right track with these pancakes. I mean, seriously, look at that. My morning got a little rushed. I was going along doing my recipe experimenting and I remembered that I had to take Renee to her eye appointment at 11. And so I thought I had till 10.30 to get ready. And then I remembered um, that I had to take Autumn to work at 9.30. So I had to rush there at the last minute. I hadn't really eaten anything except for testing some of the um, recipes that I was playing with. So 
few bites of the pancake, one of the herbed dinner rolls that was really good that you guys will be seeing soon in a recipe video. And then I had to rush out the door. So I got off to work on time and that's good. And now Renee and I are at um, New Seasons. I picked up a few things that I needed for Thanksgiving next week and she got a snack. What did you get for a snack? I got some bacon. Some bacon and a cliff bar. And I'll show you what I got for a snack because I didn't really get much of a breakfast. I figured I should eat a little bit of something. I got a few olives from the olive bar and then a quarter pound of beef pastrami. Pastrami? Yeah. <laughs> that is a funny word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This stuff is so good, but it's so expensive. I just get it for a special treat every once in a while. That's going to be my breakfast slash snack. Everybody oh, maybe. They're so cute, though. Here's what I'm having for lunch. I'm using one of my hot dog buns slash sub rolls that I made in my rolls video from a couple days ago. I have some turkey breast, the Costco oven roasted turkey breast there, a whole bunch of avocado, trying to up the fat because this is supposed to be a high fat day. I have some um, red onions and some banana peppers, and then I put this sauce on it or salad dressing on it. It's an avocado oil dressing um, and it just has one gram of carbs per two tablespoons. It's almost two o'clock now, so this is kind of a late lunch. I'm pretty hungry, but I wasn't hungry at noon, you know, because I had had such a uh, late breakfast. So I'm kind of having a late lunch. Getting some work done on our quiet afternoon and having a cup of tea. This is some flank steak that I sliced up and I marinated it with a little bit of fish sauce, some coconut aminos, onion salt, and some ginger. I'm just gonna fry it up in the pan real quick. I like this and meat. You like what? I like two more. I have this and meat. And meat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that is meat. I wanna have both meats. That meat and what other meat do you like? Um, cold. Cold hot. meat and hot meat, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So what kind is that? Um, hot. That's definitely hot meat, yeah. Would you like some hot meat for dinner? Uh, yeah, but I want both. But what kind of cold meat? Like um, pepperoni or what? Maybe pepperoni. Some cucumbers? Yeah. Sure. Okay, we have more done. Well, I gotta cut it up for you. <laughs> Are you going to try that onion? The green onion? Mm. What do you think? There's, uh, there's some, there's some, it's, I like that white in there. You like what? I like that one. You like it? The, yeah. Like the juice coming out of it? Yeah. It's like a straw? Yeah. <laughs> How many thumbs up do you give it? Um, a lot. A lot, okay. Levi, are you ready for some meat? Yeah. Some hot meat? Yep. Okay. Did you want some green onions on top? Yeah. Um, no. No? Yeah, can I the, have some? These right here, these green onions, did you want some? Oh. No, some, some, some green. You want to sprinkle some on yours? Yeah, I'm going to have green. Okay, put them on. Look at that delicious food you're making. Okay, is that enough? Usually you don't want to do too many green onions, just a few. Look at that dinner. That looks delicious. Yeah. I ordered this uh, sriracha tahini dressing off of Amazon. I loved the uh, mustard barbecue so much that I found another one that was pretty low carb. Some of them are a little higher carb, but this one was only one gram of carbs per two tablespoons. So it was very minimal. Just gonna drizzle a little bit of this and then add some green onions. It's kind of cl clumpy. <laughs> and that is dinner. I'm really not that hungry. It's, what time is it? It's only five o'clock, I guess, and I had a late lunch, so not very hungry, but I think this will hold me 
till bed. Probably do another cup of tea before bed. I like this best. You like that best? Yeah. What do you like second best? Um, this. Oh, the green. I see. Um, can you not put it on the table though? Because that kind of makes our table messy. Thanks. I just checked my calories and I was only at like 1500 for the day and that's a little low for my higher fat days considering I'm gonna have a low fat day tomorrow, a lean day tomorrow. So instead of tea, I opted for a cup of decaf coffee with my creamer mix. So that bumped up the fat and the calories just a little bit. Calories for the day came in at 1,629. I uh, got 20 total carbs, 148 grams of protein, and 97 grams of fat. So my macros ended up being 38% of my calories came from protein, 57% from fat, and 5% from carbs.